In this video, we're going to connect a PCIe endpoint and test it using Linux on the Polar Fire SoC Icicle Kit. We have COM10 open here, which is MSS MMUR0 for HSS messages, and COM15 open on the right, which is MSS UART1 for Linux console messages. We've connected up an NVMe drive on the PCIe header of the Icicle Kit, and let's power on the kit now. The HSS has started up and is loading the Linux image for us. Now that Linux has started up, we can log in with root. The first command to run is an lspci, and we can see here that we have a non-volatile memory controller, which is a Kingston NVMe SSD. Linux has detected the drive, and what we want to do now is an ls command of slash dev slash nvme with an asterisk. We can see nvme0 and nvme0n1. We want to create a file system on the nvme drive, and we can do this using the mkfs command. And we want to create an ext4 file system. Let's do this on slash dev slash nvme0n1 and give this command a few minutes to complete. It turns out there's already an ext4 file system on this device. Let's proceed anyway to format it. Now that's completed, we need to check that we can actually mount this drive. To do this, let's create a directory in root called nvme, and we'll use this as the mount point. And then we can mount slash dev slash nvme0n1 to the nvme folder in the root directory. Now we can change directory into slash nvme and do an ls. There's a lost and found folder, and that's all. So let's use vim to create a test.txt file. In vim, enter i to go into insert mode. And for example, enter this is a test, and then hit escape, and to save the file, enter w followed by q. Now, if we do an ls of the nvme folder, we have a test.txt file. So to test this, we're going to unmount and remount the drive. We can't actually unmount this drive now because the target is busy, as we're in the nvme folder. Change out of the folder and unmount the drive. Now that we've unmounted the drive, if we do an ls of root, we still have the nvme directory and we can change into it If we do an ls, the folder's empty, so what we'll do now is power cycle the kit. You can see the HSS has started back up again here and is reloading the Linux image. Now that Linux has started up once again, we can log in with root. Then run another ls of the nvme directory and we can see that it's still empty. To test that our files have actually been kept on our drive, mount slash dev slash nvme 0n1 to the slash nvme directory once again. Now that's completed, do one final ls of the nvme directory. We can see the lost and found folder along with test.txt. And if we open test.txt with vim once again, we can see this is a test up at the top of the file. 